this is a follow-up to we've done a couple of topics on this about the Nintendo PlayStation uh, prototype. Kind of a weird turn this has taken. What are you gonna do, right? Mm-hmm. People, people want to make money. That's fine. They're doing a book. Who else is doing a book? Um, I have no <laughs> idea. So the we know the story about you know the guy who came across his, his uh, dad cleaned out boxes and they had a Nintendo PlayStation prototype. It's the only one we know that exists. Um, they took it to uh, Hong Kong for a a convention, a little expo there. They showed it off. They the disk drive wasn't working, but the, the console works. Um, so this was going to be the original uh, Sony partnership with Nintendo. Um, so uh, they showed it off. They've entertained offers from my sources. We're talking 20,000 plus offers for this. Uh, maybe a lot more. So they, they're, but, but they're doing a Kickstarter now for a book. Uh, that's basically showing off the Nintendo PlayStation prototype, <laughs> prototype with high-res images in every possible angle. Um, pictures of it taken apart. It says uh, in here, complete teardown of, the, teardown of the unit on beautiful print. It would be like if you took apart a car and showed it on your lawn, I guess. Like they have the controller separate from the front of it, from the casing, from the board itself. So close-up shots of every component inside. They have the diagram drawing, the technical drawings, I guess, that you can come across online somewhere. X-ray photos, they're going to be in the book. Never before seen th- complete 3D rendering, renderings. I hate to be cynical, now you know why they went to Hong Kong. To get it checked out and to get all these pictures taken and everything else. Right. This could have been part of the plan all along. <laughs> I just, I don't see it selling. It's, 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 a, it's an incredibly interesting piece of video game history. Sure. Um, but books on video game history generally do not sell based around one item. Um, one that they're not going to be able to add that much more than what we know already. Right. The brown box could, and maybe even did, could potentially have a book entirely written about it. And we're out there. Yeah. yeah. But but not this. I just don't see this happening. Yeah, because again, it's not like this is going to be Sony coming out and telling you all about the behind the scenes workings with Nintendo. It's all going to be speculation. It's all speculation. And then photos, which I think for the most of us have seen enough photos to be like, okay, that's cool. We don't need a complete teardown of the system. Basically, they're trying to make a book that is going to appeal to a very, very small number of people. Um, it's currently, there's 25 days left when we're recording this. Uh, there's only 32 backers, a 2,300 of 30,000. It's not going to make it. Uh, it's just not. No, because not with those numbers. Because it's 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 just too tiny, too tiny of a market for that. And, and pl- like I said, yeah, you, 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 right. You see what it looks like. What's next? Yeah. Now, uh, if they had Nintendo people talking and Sony people talking, we sure. might be discussing something totally different. But you're not. You're talking a picture book, and and the story of how it was found um, that we've heard a million times. Uh, yeah, they talk about how they went to a printing place there, again in Hong Kong, coincidentally, uh, to to think those oh, going to be a good idea. Um, and then uh, I'm, trying to, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get something out of this Kickstarter that's interesting technical drawing and specifications that are associated with the patent files a complete complete history of the prototype and the story behind the partnership between the two gaming giants I mean this is stuff on Wikipedia you can find out yep uh, um, yeah no new info other than pictures no I'd rather they I'd rather they maybe they're doing it uh, get some engineers to get, to get the disk drive working yeah, you know if that's the case, even though it, that's uh, almost a Kickstarter that I would back. Tell sure. me that there's an engineer who wants this much money, and you need to uh, and, whatever, and to somehow get the code out of this to somehow emulate this. Yeah, pay pay uh, the guy. I'd back I'd back something to pay a guy to, or to to get this stuff. What out if of there. what if you get someone to actually if if it was developed at that point to actually get the code for how this thing works, get the BIOS, get it out there. Then hell, what if you have someone try to develop a game for it, even like a demo? I've always joked that that's that would be fun, and that not to go back to it, but that is what you would need the retro VGS to be something with its own architecture. This this would be interesting if someone if someone developed something for this, that would be that would be neat, and if they could clone it, not that they could, but that that's when you're talking about you know a, a, a true modern retro system. You had to bring it back to the fucking retro VGS, Ian. We spoke about it for an hour on the podcast. And it oh, don't you don't you try to shame me. <laughs> I'm going to silence you. I don't want you talking about it, Ian. 